Hi, I want to talk to you briefly about the difference between a supply chain and a value chain. A supply chain is everything that's involved in moving pieces, putting them together with other pieces, putting them together with other pieces, putting them together with other pieces to get a product out the door. It starts with digging something out of the earth usually to get a raw material, cutting down something or combining some uh, minerals or whatever that we find, growing something, putting the seed in the ground, harvesting it, extracting it, processing it. You got some raw material, ship it to somebody else, they press or do extrude or do something with it. In order to make it the first product, that product then becomes a component or a piece that's reformed into another product which is now a component that gets stuck into a, yet another product or integrated with a bunch of other components to make a product that may be the end product, it may be a subsystem that goes into a system that goes onto a platform, so on and so forth, till it finally goes out the door and you got a product that can be sold uh, to the consumer. Here's an example. This is a CD that goes in the, in the camera that I'm shooting this with. There's at least three pieces, three separate supply chains that came together. One is how you make paper. I know a lot about making paper because I grew up in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, uh, rather, I raised my children there. I didn't personally grow up there. But uh, you need to cut down something that gives you the pulp. You make the paper out of the pulp. Usually it's trees. Usually it's a pulp tree like a poplar. Might be a, a fir or whatever. The paper comes out. There's the paper. Paper mill sells it to somebody. Okay, then it goes to a printer who prints the stuff on it. Now that piece comes in. We got that piece. Somewhere else there's a supply chain that goes into making this little disc which has to be uh, put together and pressed and so on. And then there's somebody who's making plastics and extruding it into the jewel case. And the company who's selling it either makes various pieces of this or makes none of it and just buys them all separately, integrates it, puts them together and sticks them in and sells them in packs of 10 or 20 so I can buy them and make the uh, video out of them. Here's a different supply chain that goes into this. This is a uh, cuff that's a blood pressure cuff. My uh, wife Miriam uses this. She's a home birth midwife. Somebody's making a gauge. Somebody else is making the wire. Here's a rubber thing for blowing up the cuff. There's the cuff itself. There's Velcro on it. So there's a bunch of different products, each of which has uh, a vendor that probably provides it or the company that makes the uh, cuff may actually make some of these themselves. But they buy the materials to make it from somebody else. You can see where the supply chain comes in. Now a value chain is different. A value chain is all the activities that occur at every point in the supply chain in order to create value that is to make the product that's being sold. That means somebody's bringing the inventory in and storing it and getting it to the people who are doing the manufacturing or service provision. That's logistics. There's the production piece. Uh, there's sales. Uh, there's other pieces that support it like research and development, administration, so on and so forth. Uh, Porter's value chain, put that in your browser, Google it, you'll understand value, uh, value chains. Put in supply chain, you'll see what supply chain is. By the way, if you're in, using Google, you can always go define colon whatever word you're interested in or, or set of terms you're interested in like supply chain and it'll go look it up and give you definitions on it. Other uh, browsers work in other ways. Anyways, point is this. Supply chains have to do with extracting materials and moving the materials along through a set of steps till they ultimately become a product. If you want to extend it, you can look until it it's ultimately used and disposed of and recycled or trashed and ends up in the landfill. That's a supply chain. A value chain is the set of activities necessary to create the value that's in the product at each stage in the supply chain. Both supply chains and value chains need not be contained within a single organization. Obviously, unless a company is horizontally integrated, the supply chain is not. 
value chains, you can outsource various pieces so they don't have to be vertically or horizontally rather integrated either. So it doesn't really matter. You can slice and dice up organizations, supply chains, and value chains however you want, just like in slice and dice property. It's the wonderful thing about the world. You can do it however you want to do it. So that's the difference anyways. When we come back, we'll uh, move on with our discussion of markets.